Ladies, happy Friday. Guess what time it is? It's three o'clock. I'm here for a check-in with my dirty hair, and my dirty Sophie. Sophia, you don't have your ponytail for the vlog, man. Get your ponytail ready. All right, so here's the scoop. Today's going down a whole lot differently than expected. I had a dentist appointment at nine, nine o'clock. I thought it was at 9.30, so I'm just like, you know, lollygagging around the house, killing time before I need to shower to go to the dentist. Well, that, that didn't happen. I was telling Bonus Baby Junior, I'm like, I should check what time it is, because I'm pretty sure it's at 9, at 9.30. It was at 9, so I had to like rush out the door, and now it's 3 o'clock. So I had to go to the dentist because when I was 16 or 17, I got jumped in school, and my two front teeth were chipped. And when I had them fixed, when I had them fixed, they said, you have two options. You can either get veneers or we can bond them. If we bond them, however, because it is your front teeth, they will go through really severe wear and tear and they are on very limited space to actually bond or hold on to the composite. So you'll probably have to replace them, you know, if you don't take care of them often, otherwise every couple of years. So about two, maybe three years ago, I had them replaced and one of them, this one here, the corner was missing. You can't really tell unless you pay really close attention to my vlogs, but the corner was missing on one of them and then this one here was splintered. So like the composite was starting to fall off. So anyway, I scheduled the appointment because I wanted to have my teeth fixed before the wedding, which now isn't even gonna happen. <laughs> um, but they kept moving my appointment and now since the quarantine has been lifted or semi lifted here in Texas. They asked me if I wanted to come in. Well, it was just in time because on this one, the composite or the bonding was starting to chip even more where it felt jagged. So it's like, if I don't come in now, the next time I grit my teeth because I'm talking to the dogs, <laughs> baby talking the dogs with my cute aggression, it's falling off. And you know, if it was like a filling in the back, no big deal. Maybe a little painful, but no big deal. But when it's your two front teeth, it's kind of serious business. So um, today's Friday, here's the scoop. We're still under quarantine, full in full effect. Today's Friday, Parker is uh, at the orthodontist with Bonus Baby Senior. I'm playing Animal Crossing with Bonus Baby Junior and her snazzy new haircut. Look at that do, give me a little smile. Isn't that cute? She cut off like eight inches, it was crazy. <laughs> um, we're, we're in love with it. Anyway, so, we're playing Animal Crossing. She's teaching me how to play and I really hope I don't become addicted to it because at this point, I'm a little possessive over all the things I've done. <laughs> I'm a little obsessed with collecting seashells and selling them. It's, it's, it's a problem. We're kind of mean to each other. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, did you steal my stone? She's like, I gave you a stone. Okay, it's fine. The first thing we did, okay, we did a co-op and the first thing we did was change outfits. <laughs> Hashtag priorities. So, um, yeah, so Friday, that's what's going on. I was supposed to work today, but I got home. And see, here's the difference between my dentist. I have a regular dentist, and then she has an associate. They're like partners in their practice. So mine wasn't available with this rescheduled appointment. And so this other dentist numbed me to do bonding on the tips of my teeth, which usually they wouldn't do because there's no nerves there. But she's like, better to be safe than sorry. So she numbed me. I came home and I was like dribble lip, full on dribble lip. I was starving and I wanted to eat a sandwich. And I was like, I can't eat yet because I'm dribbly. And this whole, like, like on an angle, this whole side of my face felt like steak. It was like, so I wanted to vlog. I wanted to work. I wanted to, you guys, it just, it couldn't happen because I was like dribble it. Now it's three o'clock and I'm like, mm, the day's left me. So Parker on his way home from the orthodontist is going to pick up sushi and we're gonna have sushi for dinner. And then tomorrow, girls are going to their moms for Mother's Day and it's just gonna be the two of us, but I have a ton of work to do. I promised you guys I was gonna film a follow-up video to my breast implant illness video. And then I have to do my FabFitFun and I have to do a bunch of other stuff. And then Sunday, my boys come back because it's my mother's day. Here's the thing. Yesterday, I was getting ready to film and I have this whole system that I do where I like wipe SD cards and I charge batteries and I set up my studio for filming and I do everything. I make it ready to go so that when I wake up on Fridays, I'm ready, right? I wiped the SD card 
of my vlog last weekend. I thought I had transferred the footage over. Like all the footage, the girls made roasted chicken. It, uh, I don't. Yesterday was one of those days where I thought I was having a good day and then when I started to look back on all the stuff that happened, I was like, did I really though? <laughs> so I wiped all the footage. So I just lost a weekend vlog. It was so lame. Anyway, I want to show you guys our new couch at some point in this vlog because I had introduced it to you in the last vlog that I accidentally wiped. And then I also have to tell you about this nail polish. I know you guys are looking at it like, Danny, are your nails a couple different colors? Well, as a matter of fact, they are very observant. My friend Carol has a nail polish brand. It's like an indie nail polish brand. And she heard us talking about looking for the perfect pinky lavender shade. And so she made me three custom colors. She's like, I hope I figured, you know, I got one of them right. The pinky, the pinky one is exactly the color that I was talking about trying to find in that video. So I'll show you guys when I get up and go to my studio, but right now I'm too busy eating popcorn. And if I don't hurry up, Bonus Baby Junior is gonna eat all of the popcorn. So I just wanted to check in. I'll show you guys our sushi later, our couch, and the nail polish, okay? I love you. He's back with bonus baby senior in tow and like seven pounds of sushi that I get to eat. Um, we really have to stop playing Animal Crossing though because it's kind of a problem. We just raided an abandoned island of gold and iron and purple rain, majestic butterflies of the universe. What are those called? <laughs> purple rain, purple rain, it right? Like an emperor. emperor rain, emperor purple. Purple rain, purple emperor, whatever. It's a really cool butterfly. It's a butterfly that's like 2,000. 3,000 bells. Bells. I was going to say rupees. Totally the wrong currency. <laughs> we got the same thing, but do you guys remember last time in the vlog how they labeled everything? Like the sauce and the lid? They didn't do that this time. I'm tempted to go back to the vlog. <laughs> so we have a key code now <laughs> to do our sushi. We always get the same thing. This pineapple express, I don't remember. Mango, spicy chili mango, chili mango, chili spicy mango, whatever. And then this is Parker's favorite, killer caterpillar. Something about a frog. Amazing spider. This Slippery is frog. frog. This is spider. I don't know. They're good. Shoji. <laughs> we don't have their name on anything, huh? No. Lame. Anyway, that's it. That's all we got going on this wild Friday night. You guys, this quarantine has me like wilding out like crazy. Going to the club in my room. Oh, I still haven't showed you guys the nail polish. Um, that's it, that's all we got going on today. If anything happens, I'll, I'll let you guys uh, in on it, like my amazing overalls. Um, but other than that, we really don't have anything going on. Tomorrow's just gonna be a lot of work too. I feel like the quarantine has affected my vlog significantly. <sighs> hey, hey you guys, it's about six o'clock. Parker and I just took a little walk. We've been struggling with getting Wesley to walk. Um, we thought, you know, maybe it's because of his blindness. Oh, maybe it's because of he's diabetic. Maybe it's because of this, but I can't figure out why he's not loving walking anymore. And so we're kind of baby stepping our way back into some sort of routine for him just because he's not that old. He's sickly, but he's not that old. And we want to keep him as young and bright eyed and bushy tailed as possible, you know? So anyway, we took him for a little walk, but when we got back, um, I was telling Parker that we just received a um, package of our farmer's dog order. So anyway, last weekend was one of those weekends where I just couldn't catch up with myself. I couldn't catch up. Everything was like, oh my God, this, oh my God, that. And then to top it all off, it was like, um, we're tired, we're getting ready for bed, and we ran out of dog food. Not their kibble, the dog food that we cooked. You guys remember I showed you how we make it. Um, it was just ground beef, veggies, and some broth. So it's one of those things where like, if you don't have the items defrosted, if you don't have enough ground beef, if you don't have the energy to, it's something that just is such a chore. So I was whining about it and I was like, Parker, I wish they had Hello Fresh for dogs. And he's like, they do. So we looked up a bunch of different brands. We ordered one and we're starting to transition them now. We ordered the farmer's dog. It looks like this. 
I didn't know this is how it arrived when it comes to your door. So it comes in these little packets and they're all labeled on um, like individually for your pet. This isn't sponsored by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, it tells you how much to feed them. And so we're slowly transitioning them into this food, but you can't just change a dog's food. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the kibble and then mix in a little bit of this food. But the way that they pack this for your freezer, it's very compact. And so we have to pour it out and fluff it and then mix it into the kibble. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And all of them have the same recipe. So they're all on the beef lentil recipe. So if I were to run out, over serve or under serve, all of them can share the packet. So even if it doesn't say Ernesto on it, which is Ernie or Lamern, they can all share the same. Here's, a, here's the tobos. But see, it's the same, it's just labeled. So it's convenient that it's labeled, but I think it's also labeled because they do have like pork and chicken and different, um, Proteins. Anyway, let's see what this looks like, shall we? Can I have a, your hands demo this for us? We have a very dashing pair of manly hands that are gonna. Jazz hands, jazz hands. Please don't do that. Your friends are watching. I know how to fluff. You're not. You're not fluffing right now. Look how fluffy. You're not fluffing right now. It's fluffing. No, you're not. Look how good it looks. You're not fl you're you're not fluffing. You're not just mixing. <laughs> See, that's my baby. Oh, well, someone's excited. He's like, I don't know what it is, but I'm ready, guys. We literally just fluffed the food. They haven't seen it, smelt it. They have. We haven't shown it to them. And look at this. Look at them. They're freaking out. Mern's on a walk right now, but look at this baby polar bear. Look at that baby polar bear. Look, that double's about to knock off his diaper in the excitement. Wesley! Whoa, Wesley. <laughs> like you don't gotta tell me twice. I think they like it. Little meerkat. Baby meerkat. Aw, <laughs> oh, she's so gentle. He is too. Aw, oh, Wesley, come on, we're your manners, bro. Okay, so here's the plan. The plan says that we have to transition 20% at a time. So 75% old food, 25% new food. But they were already on a real food mix. So we're just copying the same ratio, assuming it'll work out fine. So we're doing half of this, half kibble. Although I don't think we need to do that much kibble. Are you guys gonna get tummy issues? Why is there drool on my floor? <laughs> who's who's the culprit of this? What? What? Sophia. Who did the drool? Mm -hmm. Snitches get stitches, bro. Don't say anything. <laughs> so yeah, we're just getting this ready because it's cold. But their dinner isn't until six. Well, it's already six ten. What do you say, Soph? You want to eat right now? Do you want to eat now? Sure. Look at Wesley. <laughs> Wesley, what's happening, Bonker? Stop. What's coming? He's so big. Ready? Okay. You gotta do Wesley first or he'll lick whatever bowl you put down. Dang, slow down there, killer. Oh my goodness! Look! They're not even looking up. This is a rare occasion in the wild kingdom. In the wild kingdom. What's happening? Oh, she's not spitting it out. She's not spitting it out! <gasps> Oh my God! Is this the mirror? Is this is this the cure we've been looking for? Miracle food. Look at. It. She like, looks like she's gonna spit it out when she never gets out. The double is absorbing it. <laughs> Taking him forever. Don't do it, Mama. I'll see you. She's already made two trips to her. Where's your food? Did Where's you your bowl? Where? Show me where your bowl is. Show me where your bowl is. Where's your food? Where's you your want? food? What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> 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 so funny. Oh, wow, this is good. Oh, it's so good. It, it smells so good. So good. Mm. Do your trick. You gotta sit, man. Ernie. Sit. Wait, nope, nope. She's cheating. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Look at her tail. What a good girl. 
찍을 수 있겠네 진짜 <웃음> 이제 i 어 t good? Oh, yeah, so yummy. Oh my goodness. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Wow. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> I'm so proud of you, mama. All right, you guys. I didn't want to believe it, but they are going bonkers for the food. I was like, hmm. They might fight this because they've been getting full on ground beef, real carrots, real sweet potatoes. But I was reading Parker the ingredients on the back with what is in the food. So it's basically what we've already been feeding them, but with additional pet safe supplements like uh, folic acid, potassium, uh, vitamin, 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 vitamin uh, D3, vitamin E, all these like, it's crazy. I, was, I looked at Parker and I was like, are the dogs gonna be eating better than us? <laughs> Huge success. They're licking their bowls right now. Sophia is the pickiest eater. She will lick each piece of kibble and then spit out the kibble, and then the stairs will be completely lined up with the kibble, or she'll put a pile of kibble in front of Peter Rabbit like she's sharing. She's really just trying to get rid of the evidence. But um, nothing, nothing fell out of her bowl. Do you hear that? They're licking their bowls. Are you guys done? Hey, Wesley. Are you eating food that's not yours? Mm-hmm. That's Sophia's bowl. Look at this. Wesley's. Sophia's. The top. <laughs> Chima, can I see your bowl? Oh, good job. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> that was rude, but like also talented. <laughs> hey, you guys. Happy Saturday. It's a little bit after 1030. I have to show you something super important before I forget. <laughs> oh no, there's a glare. They can't see. Oh, there it is. Oh, does Sophie and mommy match? Do Sophie and mommy match? Are those ponytails? Wow, those are nice. Oh my goodness, those are some nice ponytails. Hold on, let's turn this way. They can see better. You ready? Show them your ponytails. Oh, those are nice ponytails. We gotta take advantage because you're getting your haircut next week. We're not gonna be able to do this anymore. It's gonna be sad, huh? Don't worry, you guys, they're loose. They're not. <laughs> they're not like if you had a Mexican mom growing up and she would do your hair with limon and then you had a headache for like six months. <laughs> they're not tight like that. Anyway. Okay, so it's a little bit after 10.30. As you can tell, I have already bathed for you guys. I curled my hair. Um, I have a lot of work to do today. Parker took the girls back to their moms so they could spend Mother's Day weekend with them. Um, my boys come back tomorrow to celebrate Mother's Day with me. All right, you guys. This is, this is a safe zone. It's always been a safe zone. It's a place where we can share and we can vent and we can rat, rant, rat, we can rant. Uh, without the fear of judgment, so I'm about to do so. Uh, I don't look forward to Mother's Day. <laughs> it just feels like a day like any other. To me, a, a, like a dream Mother's Day, like the ideal dream Mother's Day, would be to be in a coma for like 24 hours. <laughs> where no one's allowed to talk to me. Where I don't have to get up early where no one needs anything from me, where no, like literally no one talks to me and I could just not have a schedule. Like I don't have anywhere to be and I don't have anyone that needs me. And I know that sounds selfish and I immediately feel guilty, but isn't that the whole point of, of like being a mom is you're always, always feeling guilty. Like you didn't spend too much time with them. You spent too much time with them. You disciplined them too hard. You didn't discipline them enough. You gave processed chicken nuggets for lunch. You could have made natural chicken nuggets. There's always that guilt. And when I'm trying to imagine my ideal dream Mother's Day holiday, holiday, uh, I instantly feel guilty because it has nothing to do with me being a mom. It's, it's actually, I want to celebrate like before I became a mom. <laughs> Isn't that horrendous? But you know what, so it just, once you become a mom, there's no like going back. There's no undo button, there's no pause button. Oh my gosh, you guys, if kids came with like a remote control where you could pause them or you had to replace their batteries and like they, they, didn't, they weren't always on all the time, that would, that would be nice. 
including dogs. So even if you're a pet parent, I'm talking about I'm talking about these too. I'm talking about these. The only reason I get up every morning, like if I tell my kids, hey, listen, you want to get up at five in the in the morning? I don't care, but stay in your room. Don't bother me until eight o'clock. They'll listen. These dogs come six, six thirty. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Uh, they start howling. If you guys have seen these vlogs from the beginning, you know how they howl. It sounds like a haunted mansion. They howl until they're let out. And the latest they sleep in, yeah, I'm talking to you, is like 6.30. So anyway, that would be my ideal Mother's Day. I don't know how we got on this tangent of like trust and, and, and telling all our secrets, but that's the current state of my life. I'm actually in my office right now. I just fixed Sophie's hair because we're gonna film together. There's like no other way to say it. Like, <laughs> I need to film, she's gonna crash my video. So if I change my perspective, like we're gonna film together, then it's totally okay for her to, to ambush every single one of my videos. <laughs> Coffee break with Danny and Sophia, y'all. All right, so I told you guys yesterday I was gonna show you this nail polish. So my friend Carol has an indie nail polish brand and she loves to watch Coffee Rick with Danny. She's a huge supporter. And the funny thing is that I actually learned about Colores de Carol, like her nail polish brand, because of my mom. My mom loves following nail and nail polish accounts on Instagram. She loves it. She loves the inspiration. She always sends me screenshots of manicures. And so we get a ton of ideas from accounts we follow. So anyway, she told me about Carol's account um, years ago. And I started following her. I didn't know that Carol actually watched all of the Coffee Break with Danny mumbo jumbo that we post on here. And so when I posted in my vlog, probably a few months ago, where I said, I'm looking for the perfect pastel Pepto Bismol pink with like a drop of lavender, and I can't find one. And she listened to my dilemma and made three custom polishes for me. She didn't tell me she was gonna do it. They're not for sale. She just was like, hey, look, maybe I nailed it. Did I nail it? And so she made three different colors. And like I said, don't mind that cut on my finger. Velcro is violent, you guys. So on these three fingers right here, these three, it's the same color. But these are the three colors that she made for us in her shop. So this is one, two, and three. And if you were to say, what was the ideal color that I was looking for when I was trying to describe it, I would say it's this one. It's perfection. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Of all the days that I could have a cut in my finger, it's gonna be the day I have to show you close-ups. They're all really pretty, super, super pretty. And I love all of them, but the one that, the, the one on my pinky is the one that I was ideally looking for. Um, let me show you guys. So this is shade one. This is what's on my pinky. Custom shade one. I don't know why I'm taking so much time to show you guys these. <laughs> They're not on her site. You know what is on her site? This color here. Isn't that pretty? This one's called Intrepid. It's like, this is on my desk because it's going to be the next color I put on my nails. So anyway, that's shade one. That's what's on my pinky. And then this is shade two. I totally put them um, in order on my fingers, totally on coincidence, just by chance. This is what's on my ring finger. Isn't that beautiful? If you guys like those um, colors that look like a white and then with just a drop of a different color, this is the best way I can describe it. That's what this color is. And I love how thick it is too. It's a very opaque uh, base. And then this one is the funnest one. This is like a pastel neon lavender. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what's on every other finger um, from my middle finger to my thumb that's the shade here and this is shade three I think this is like a jelly polish I'm not very familiar with types of formulas if it's not matte or glitter or cream I have no idea what it is but this is one of those that's sheer um, it's like a jelly Corelli I don't know type base um, it's still two coats though, so you can tell it's fully opaque in two coats, but it does have sort of that sheerness to it. You can see the little beads in the, in the bottle. But yeah, that's shade three. There's a close-up of all the three colors she did. I wanted to show them to you guys because it was super sweet. It's kind of like when I got that Scrabble, um piece of art that one of you guys made me. Um, it's very personalized. It's very thoughtful. You really have to be, um, 
I don't know, like paying attention or in tune or really listening to um, send a gift like that, you know? So I thought it was really special. So Caro, thank you so much. I will list her shop in the description box below. When I posted this on Instagram, a lot of you guys freaked out and were like, oh my God, is it a collab? I was like, no. <laughs> Not a collab, just a really good friend, very thoughtful, and I wanted to show you guys. I'm sure she has options like this on her shop or discounts or promos or something. Um, if I do find anything or I'll talk to her, see if she can offer you guys a promo code or something, I'll leave it in the description box below. But again, it's not a collab, it's not for sale, um, and it's not um, affiliate. Like I'm not affiliate, she, she doesn't, she's not paying me to show you pol polishes she made for me. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> anyway, so right now, I kind of want to do a few videos without any makeup on. Do you guys remember I harped so bad about it where I was like, ugh, quarantine, no makeup on my face. But I thoroughly enjoyed when I did my makeup um, the last two times. Like, it was so relaxing, especially the smoky eye. I was like, yeah, smoky eye for the rest of the day, even though it was a Sunday at 11 o'clock. But I do want to do a couple of videos without any makeup on. My face is a little angry at me because we were in the sun the other day and she got really dried out. Look, do you see that? May or may not be working on my tan. No, I wasn't actually working on my tan. We were playing outside. We had this genius idea to put dish soap all over our trampoline, turn on the sprinklers and fill Ernie's pool. <laughs> It was a good day. Um, so it was one of those days where I didn't even realize that I was getting sunburned. So that's why I'm a little extra Rudolph-y today. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a few videos without any makeup on. I definitely want to do my makeup because I ordered the Mrs. West collection from Ulta. It's the KK Beauty, KKW Beauty. What is, I don't even know the name of the brand, the Kim Kardashian brand. Um, I ordered that collection because it just reminded me of one of those neutrals that scratches all your itches. Like it's a it's a great it's a great nude lip. It's a great highlighter. It's a great eyeshadow palette. And I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. It's kind of like a one-stop shop neutral collection. This is kind of exciting. And when I get excited about makeup, which hardly ever happens anymore, I have to pull the trigger. So I wanted you to get ready with me slash first impression on that collection. Um, and then I have this giant box of my Sephora VIB sale sitting on my desk that I need to show you guys. Sephora took, I think, like 17 days to ship my um, my haul. So it, even if I had had recommendations or anything like that, it was just it was way too late. There was just no way for me to put it up sooner. So I was like, you know what? I'm not in a hurry to show you a haul. A haul is fun any time of the year. So I have to show you guys that just so I can actually put it away. So maybe I'll do that um, without any makeup on. That'd be really relaxing, especially if I can try something on my face since I don't have any makeup on. So I'm gonna do that. Although the day is gonna be pretty relaxing, I think. We don't have any plans. Uh, Parker and I spoke about wanting to just continue honoring the quarantine. Um, I know Texas, um, raised the restrictions on certain places and things like that on May 1st. So places that weren't open are reopening their doors, like restaurants, they're going to be serving to 25% capacity, and then other places are gonna reopen entirely by the 18th. It worries me simply because it wasn't like the CDC said, hey, listen, we flattened the curve and uh, we're corona free, so everyone business as usual. It was more like the state decided to make a financial decision. I think it's gonna be one of those where we get a second wave, um, like the Spanish flu. Do you guys remember that? Uh, well, not actually remember it, but you know. <laughs> Do you remember learning about it? <laughs> so we're still trying to honor the quarantine as much as possible. I mean, there's not much we can do with our co-parents. Like I talked to mine and he was very responsive about it. He was like, yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. They're staying home. At until until we feel comfortable otherwise. Uh, but I don't know what the other situation is. Hopefully it's the same. So anyway, um, that's it for today. I think I'm just gonna like take my time working today since I have nothing else to do. So just dribble in a video here or there. It would dribble. Think about a new word I can use when I'm trying to explain this to you. <laughs> that's not weird. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. I have to get to work drink more coffee, probably have some lunch, um, but you guys are coming along um, and uh, that's it. I love you. Hey you guys, about 
Can we talk about this makeup for a second? All right, so I filmed to Get Ready With Me. It was a first impression slash review on the Mrs. West collection from KKW Beauty. That's at Ulta Stores. I was a little apprehensive about it at the beginning. I was a little judgy. And then ultimately I regretted all my opinions. <laughs> I was like, who needs three products for a lip combo? Oh, I, I do, actually, that, that's me. These three eyeshadows in a palette, like it's kind of just, it's underwhelming, like what's the point? Oh, actually, it's it's not. <laughs> There's a reason this multi-billion dollar enterprise did this on her face for her wedding, am I right? Now here's the thing though, I'm a little skeptical because this collection didn't exist when she got married a few years ago before she had what four kids or five kids so how did she how did she make these colors did she take the colors she used which i'm assuming were like Givenchy and Guerlain and then created her own mid-range colors within her manufacturer i'm assuming that's what she did right because otherwise anyway Long story short, that Get Ready With Me will be up. You need a couple colors, a couple of items from this collection. You definitely need the lip products. There's three lip products, a liner, a lipstick, and a gloss, and the blush. The blush, the blush is probably my favorite thing in the collection. I would pass on the eyeshadow. It's definitely, it's nice, but it's like, mm, it's, you, you have the colors already for sure. Um, and then the highlighter I didn't like. Didn't like it, didn't like it. That's all I gotta say. There's, there's nothing positive about it except the packaging. <laughs> but I wanted to check in because I was like, y'all, my pandas need to know the truth. Before you guys ask me where I got this shirt from, you need to know it's a maxi dress. Ta-da! And I'm wearing jeans underneath it because I just put it on over my outfit. <laughs> when I film, I make it count. I film at least three videos every time I film, at least. At a bare minimum, I film three. Usually, it's three to five videos. So I threw on this dress that I bought to go to Mexico the last time we went, and I never took it because it's very heavy. There's a ton of fabric, and I just didn't want to pack it. When I rolled it up, it was like half of my suitcase. <laughs> it's a dramatic maxi gown okay so i wanted to show you guys i'm going to show you right now in the mirror what it looks like because i know you're going to ask me in that video and i didn't want to talk about it in my get ready with me it just didn't seem very professional you guys know like my beauty content is like very professional you know i keep it scripted and it's a, it's a it's to the point there are definitely no tangents or it's it just, it wouldn't be professional to talk about a dress when I'm talking about makeup, you know? All right, y'all, so this is the dress. This is it. It has puffy sleeves. I just rolled them up because I felt like I was, I was trapped. It has a belt that actually wraps around twice. Like you have to wrap it around twice and then it, it ties in the front. I didn't even tie it. See, this is how professional my content is. I didn't even tie it in the video. So it ties up here in the front and then it splits in the center. Look at this. It's like a Tarzan. Um, what are these called? Like it has the, it has the little, in the, it's like a taparrabos. What is that called in English? <laughs> loincloth. It's like a loincloth, but it's to the ground. So it cuts on the two legs. But look how much fabric it is. Like it's a ton of fabric. Huge dress. Huge. Huge. Huge dress. Oh, and you know what else? It's lined. So not only does it have a ton of fabric, but it's also super lined. So when I wanted to take this to Mexico, I was like, oh, wow, it's majestic. It's beautiful. It's sexy. It's flowy. Look at that. Isn't that nice? But I rolled it up and it was like the size of like, I don't know, a decorative pillow. It was huge. So I never took it. I never wore it. And then I, I lost my boobs and now it doesn't fit the way it should have, but I kind of still like it. Do you guys like it? I think it's from... Whew. I don't even remember. I don't remember where this dress is from. Is it from Fashion Nova? That would be funny if it was. Cause like, I have four things from Fashion Nova. Let's see. What does that say? That's what it says. That's what it says, y'all. It's from Fashion Nova. So I don't feel bad about not taking it to Mexico cause I'm pretty sure it was like $18. <laughs> But yeah, I thought it was pretty. You know what? I'm not going anywhere today. 
Uh, we're not going out. It's Saturday. I have no plans, but I wanted to wear a maxi gown. So I put on a maxi gown. Tell me in the comments what's the most ridiculous thing you've worn while under being lo on lockdown. And you can't say leggings. That's not fair. <laughs> I know that's the number one answer. What's the most ridiculous? Like a tutu or leg warmers. Uh, what's another good one? Uh, a bustier, like you wore a bustier because you wanted to look cute so you put on like a sequins bustier to think you were Selena because we were under lockdown when it was Selena's birthday and a lot of people love to celebrate. Was that you? What was the most ridiculous thing you wore? You know what? Because of lockdown, I have found myself at some times or some point wearing stuff that doesn't even go well together. Like there's no way it matches. It could not be more anti-match if I tried. I've, I've found myself looking in the mirror, like I walk by and I'm like, did I really just, am I just, do I care that little kind of thing? Like, okay, so just let us know in the comment section below. I gotta go back to work, then I'm done for today. Hey guys, 4.45, I just got done with work. I am so tired. I didn't realize talking was this challenging. <laughs> I hate complaining about my job because I love it. I look forward to it. But man, it feels like I ran a marathon. That's a horrible example for what I do, but talking is hard. <laughs> talking in English is hard. So Sophia and I are just relaxing. I just sat down, like I just sat down and I'm about to play Animal Crossing. Because listen, Bonus Baby Junior told me this morning before she left that the person that sells clothes is only visiting today, so I need to go upgrade my outfit. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to have time to play on the Switch, because when the boys come back tomorrow, they don't let me play, and then the girls will come back on Monday, and they don't let me play either. So right now is my only opportunity. So I'm going to sit here on the couch for an hour or two. So right now I'm just going to play Animal Crossing. I have no idea what I'm doing on this game, by the way. And if I don't play with Bonus Baby, I have no idea, because I don't have a ladder. I can't climb. I don't have a, a pole, I can't cross water. So we'll see if I'm actually able to do anything without her here to help me. How sad is that? She's like the grown up in this game. She paid off like all of her loans. She has this huge house. Meanwhile, I still have the yellow tent. <laughs> hey you guys, it's eight o'clock. Do you ever like forget to do something really important? Like something that fulfills your physiological needs, like eat. I was watching Netflix and I realized that a, Dead to Me, season two, just got released. I don't remember the first season being this serious and dramatic. I don't know if I'm gonna stick with season two. There's a lot of crying and fighting, and I'm like, I remember the first season was fun, kind of informal. I don't, I don't even know how to, it was, it was dramatic, but it was kind of fun to watch. I love Christina Applegate, but I don't know, I'm on episode one and I'm like, this is heavy. I'm not sure if I'm in the mood for a heavy, a heavy season of Dead to Me. Um, anyway, so I jumped on Uber Eats and I did priority delivery, which is 99 cents more. I don't even know how priority that is. Like what happens? Do you cut someone in line? Because if you do, then they should get the 99 cents. <laughs> Not Uber Eats. <laughs> so anyway, I ordered from our favorite fall restaurant, which never used to be on these uh, food courier apps. They were never on these apps. They're like old school. But I guess because of COVID, now they are. So I got our favorite summer rolls, spring rolls, um, some sauteed beef, beef, bell pepper, spicy beef, black pepper beef, it's called black pepper beef. <laughs> Sometimes if I say a word over and over, then it, it just, it comes to me. Um, and then I also got lemongrass chicken, which is my kid's favorite. It was weird, I ordered it just by instinct because they like it and they're not even here and then it made me sad. <laughs> but tomorrow's Mother's Day. So I get to see them tomorrow morning. So this is supposed to be the black peppered beef and they kind of put it on this lettuce, but that gets soggy and spills everywhere. So um, they put it in this little container, which I thought was very thoughtful and I love that they did that. Um, this is the lemongrass chicken. It's like thinly sliced, it's delicious. And their veggies are delicious. They have um, like a sweet rice wine vinegar pickling to them. They're still very crunchy, but they have a hint of pickling. These are the spring rolls. You're supposed to eat them wrapped in lettuce, but they never really give you lettuce, although we may take that one. Um, and then these are my favorite. Parker doesn't like these. These are like the shrimp rolls. They're 
Um, they just have rice noodles in them, lettuce and shrimp, and then I dip it in peanut sauce, but sometimes when I'm feeling crazy, I put some spicy, um, like some of this chili sauce into the peanut sauce and I make it spicy and then just dip, dip, dip. So this is dinner at eight o'clock. Who are we? I'm exhausted. My plan is to eat, go to bed, and then hug my littles tomorrow. I still have a lot of work to do tomorrow because I haven't edited anything for next week. And if I'm gonna post anything on Monday, it needs to get done tomorrow. So what probably will happen is we'll get up early tomorrow. <laughs> it's very huge. Tend to the dogs, do everything we gotta do, and then edit something before the boys come home. I'm not even sure when they're coming home, but they're coming home in the morning. So anyway, we're gonna eat dinner. I'm gonna watch a couple more minutes of this, and if it's still this dramatic, I'm a bounce. I can't do it. I'll watch something else, like a murder show. <laughs> Hey you guys, good morning. It's seven o'clock. Seven o'clock? Seven-ish. Happy Mother's Day. This is my sexy voice. I slept so hard last night, only because I woke up like at two, because I was convinced someone was inside the house. So I heard all this clatter in front of the house. It was like a car stop, door slam, door slam. Then again, door slam, door slam, and then the car left. It's like, that was weird. And there's always these kids, they're like preteen, teen kids that are like running in between our houses. It's like maybe them or their friends, they stay out late, whatever. Um, but then I kept hearing doors inside the house open and close. Man, this is weird, because none of the kids are here. Not today, like today was our one day for sure none of the kids were here. It was so bizarre. And I had a really hard time going back to sleep from like three to four, four thirty. 4.30. Um, but anyway, we are, um, up, of course, I'm ready to go. We just had the dogs, um, and we're in the middle of wrapping bonus baby senior's presents, which I cannot show you because I think this vlog goes up before we celebrate her. Her birthday is coming up in 10 days, nine days, um, and we're gonna celebrate after her birthday. So she'll be with her mom, I think, on her actual birthday, and then that following weekend, we're gonna celebrate her with the boys. And so I bought this really beautiful wrapping paper we always tease her because we say she's dark and brooding because she likes everything that's like navy blue, dark gray, black, silver. And so um, we, she's turning 16. What does a 16 year old want? Either cash or a car. And so <clears throat> what we're doing is just wrapping a bunch of really good but smaller gifts, but then we're also giving her a lot of cash. So uh, we're gonna wrap that right now. The wrapping paper is so pretty. I don't wanna show you guys what we got just in case she sees this. I know her little sister watches every single one of my videos, so I don't wanna leak any of this information quite yet, but let me show you. This is one of the papers, isn't that pretty? Um, it has um, the zodiac signs on it, or star signs, um, and it's navy. And then these other two over here, this is just a flat navy and then this is like a silver. So I was thinking we do a combo of this one and then the one over there that Parker was unwrapping. Um, but let's show you. Okay, just show me the shirt. It's wrinkly. We thought it was funny. <laughs> so I told you, it's like a lot of cool stuff, but and then look. <laughs> I have a very twisted sense of humor and Parker entertains it. So we're rolling with it. So we're gonna wrap all this stuff right now and then um, I don't know, wait for the boys to come back and... If I try to do this on Mother's Day when the boys are here, it's not gonna happen. And today's our only opportunity without the girls being here. And this is how the Rona screws everything up. For me, it was like, oh, that's no big deal. I'll just wrap it when the kids are at school. They go to school here. <laughs> now, I never knew what it was like. Not depending on those couple of hours when they're at school. And it's not like I... It's, it's happened to me for a long time. Like Parker's daughters have been in school for a very long time. I haven't had this experience for more than, what, like two years, three years maybe. So I, I'm spoiled. <laughs> I realized I'm spoiled and I need to show Parker how to fold a t-shirt. <laughs>
All right, so here's the thing. We thought we were being efficient by placing an order for this restaurant that I really like. I think we talked about it on the vlog. <laughs> Guess who's back? <laughs> um, and so uh, I placed an order and they had this cool Mother's Day promo where the kids' meals were free and all of this. Anyway, Parker got there and he still had to wait 45 minutes. So he lost everyone's order. It was a total fiasco and so now it was rushed and it's like, it's focusing on your face. Look at that. <laughs> So um, it was a total disaster, but we did spend a good part of the morning playing Animal Crossing and both of the boys have a character now. And so it's hilarious because on Mother's Day, I see their two giant coconuts running around on their island. <laughs> it's really funny. He actually has a hang of it. I don't know if you guys have played Animal Crossing before, but it's pretty tricky. There's way too many moves involved. And so he picked it up right away. His brother, on the other hand, is just kind of following along, but it's cool they could do it together. Anyway, let me show you guys. This is the biscuit I got last time. Um, it has a goat cheese patty inside, and then it's the fried chicken, and they put the sauce separate. Um, Parker got, I think the same one as last time, where it has bacon and cheese, and it's kind of like a breakfast sandwich. And then the boys, they had this free promo uh, where they get a kid's meal, but they forgot the juices and the sides, so they just got a little box with four nuggets in it. Is it good, though? Mm -hmm. Yummy? Why are you so handsome? Yeah. Ah, Show me your pretty face. You're gonna cry. Hey, can I see your pretty face? Mm. Oh, that's nice. Look at those eyebrows. The ugly one's the good one. Which one? The chicken? <laughs> the ugly chicken. Your tooth's gonna fall out. Be careful. Hey, you guys. It's 3.15ish. So, um, we had breakfast and we have been sitting on the couch playing Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. <laughs> Animal Crossing and my son kept asking me mom check your mail mom check your mail and I was like I don't have any mail so finally I don't know after a while it refreshes this is the sweetest thing ever you guys we're still learning how to use it we have no idea what we're doing half of the time we're breaking axes and things <laughs> but this little nerd over there <laughs> look at what he sent me dear mom I love you happy mother's day is it oh, there's a present on it let's see what's the present Place in pocket. Oh no, I can't get it because my pockets are full. All right, I don't know how to play with other people. Like, I don't know how to add other people and chat with other people. I know you can communicate and like I can talk to my brother in San Diego and stuff like that, but we have no idea what we're doing, okay? <laughs> no idea. So if you want to send me a gift, you saw my screen name, <laughs> please send me a gift or a letter or write on the bulletin board. I don't know, I'll check. We'll check, right? <laughs> Yeah, what up? Wow. What are you eating? Is it good? Why do you look so handsome today? You're wearing like fancy clothes. I haven't even showered. Ow, my tooth! What is this? Blueberry, blackberry mead. Mead? Mead. Did you taste it when you were there? Oh my god. <gasps> Look at that frosty glass. This is from the $1 bin at, um, at Target. Okay, so Parker asked me what I wanted for Mother's Day, and I said I wanted the um, po' boy shrimp tacos from Three Flights Up. You have to buy this, or do you take it back the next time? Uh, I bought it, but I can't take it back and refill it. And refill it? it? Yeah. And he got this blueberry beer. It's so good. It tastes like a melted popsicle. It tastes like it would creep up on you, and then you would regret your choices. And look. Isn't that cool the way they they pack them up? So you guys have seen these tacos how many times, Parker? Like every other vlog? Yeah. So it's fried shrimp, pickles, cabbage, and then like a sriracha cream sauce. Y'all, these tacos. You guys know my stance on tacos. I'm very like, it's not authentic. That's not a real taco. But these tacos changed my life. So I'm going to eat three of them for Mother's Day. Along with these two coconuts. Oh, the reason I'm a mom. <laughs> the reason I'm gonna have a stroke. <laughs> Did you crush him? Yeah. No! <laughs> the answer is no. Yeah. Is he alive? No. <laughs> he knows I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> Maggie, can you bring the cutting board over here? When Parker puts a little bench, he can put carrots on it. Do squirrels even eat carrots? For the rabbits. We're changing animals. <laughs> the squirrels were rude. We Ungrateful. I don't think birds will eat carrots. No, we can get weird out. 
<laughs> you just want to get more worms. Confess. <laughs> and now, instead of Squirrel Cam 2.0, it's Rabbit Watch 1.0. <laughs> Mickey, get off the cutting board. We eat on that thing. Yeah, but you're going to wash it. You're going to wash so it. So I can put my butt on it. That's terrible. <laughs> Seriously? Eat your butt. Die! Die! And that's how we end the vlog.